Howdy, I'm Jay Bird. Today I'll teach you how to sit up and play Jurassic Parts. It is a game by 25th Century Games for 2-5 to five players ages 13 and up that plays in 20-45 to 45 minutes. In this game, you will be playing as paleontologists trying to break apart a slab of rocks that contain fossils that you can use to assemble complete dinosaurs and score points. To begin setup, You'll take one of the three pile of bone fossil tiles, set that aside, and then begin to mix the rest of the tiles. After you've mixed them, you'll create two even stacks of the tiles, flipping one over. The rulebook suggests mixing these two piles again, so then you have a random mix of face up and face down tiles within your two stacks. To form the slab, you take the one set aside wild tile, place it in the middle of the table, and start randomly placing the tiles from your two stacks around this in a hexagonal pattern. And each tile should have a small gap between it, leaving room for the chisels during the game. Each player will then take a paleontologist mat and field guide, along with 12 matching colored chisels that will begin on the dull side of your card. Place the fossil leader board card near the slab along with all the amber tokens. The first player will receive the starting player token, the mosquito and amber. The second player will receive one sharpened chisel to start the game. The third player will receive one amber resource. Fourth and fifth players will receive one sharpened chisel and one amber resource to begin the game. Optionally, you can randomly deal one or two resource cards to each player and all unused cards will be returned to the box. Now that the slab is set up and each player has everything that they need to begin playing, I will go over how your turns work during the game. You always begin your turn by sharpening three of your dull chisels. Chisels are used to place on the slab, creating cracks or break apart rocks. Chisels may be placed on any empty gap between two tiles. You break apart rocks by using one additional chisel when there is a rock between two tiles, or two additional chisels when there are two rocks between two tiles. Additional chisels used are always placed on the dull side. Chisels are always placed one at a time, and if a full break occurs, resolve the break before placing your next chisel. While placing chisels, you can also conduct transactions with the field leader. We'll get to those actions later. Let's first go over how you split the slab. To split the slab, tiles must be either completely surrounded by chisels or a line of chisels will run from edge to edge of the slab. Any chisels inside the interior section of the split section of slab that did not contribute to the splitting are then returned to their owner as sharp chisels. Any player who contributed to the break has a chance of earning some of the tiles. Let's go over how those tiles are split. Determine a rank order based on majority of contribution to the split. And then, if there is a tie, the current player, and then going around the table, breaks the tie. The highest rank always takes first and will take half rounded up of the tiles that split away. Second place will then take half of the remaining tiles and so on from there. However, no player may ever take more than six tiles when a slab breaks apart. If there are extra tiles that go unclaimed for the half process, they always go to the field leader. Whenever you complete a dinosaur, either a one tile pterodactyl or a larger dinosaur, you earn one amber. Dinosaurs can also be completed with a pile of bones wild tile. Earning amber is important as it allows you to complete transactions with the field leader. Transactions with the field leader always start at one amber. The next transaction will cost an additional amber at two and then three. The four transactions with the field leader consist of your next two chisels ignore rocks, sharpen two more chisels, Take any tile from the field that is not a face-up pile of bones, or take one tile from the field leader. 
On your turn, you may also sell one tile from an uncompleted dinosaur in front of you to the field leader for one amber. The game will be over when all tiles have been claimed from the slab. When only two fossils remain, the current player splits them, chooses one to keep, gives the other to the field leader, and finishes the turn. This ends the game immediately. Count up points to see who wins. Points are counted as follows. Plant score based on the number that you have in front of you. So the more you collect, the more valuable they become. Completed dinosaurs score based on the field guide. Uncompleted dinosaurs score one point per tile. Each amber is also worth one point. And that's how you set up and play Jurassic Park. Thank you for watching. And as always, play games and spread joy.